I got it. You still have an idea for the contest? No. You remember at lunch I got that piece of corn stuck in my teeth? No. Well, here it is. Well, thank you for flicking your used corn onto my floor. Now, give me that. You've got to help me think of an idea. All right. Right after we watch Seattle Beat. No, please. No, you're not watching. Oh, come on, I'm watching. No, I'm not watching it. You have to. Oh, come on, let's watch the show. Okay, fine. Oh, you may like the old drummer better, but I still say they're the best happening in Seattle today. And to prove it, you're going to see them right here on Seattle Beat Live. Coming up less than a half hour. Is that cool? Oh, how about you people outside the Seattle Beat window? I got it. I know how we're going to get a ton more people to watch our webcast. Does it involve dental floss? No, why? I think that piece of corn had a friend. Listen, you see those people outside in the window in Seattle Beat? Yeah, you and I are going to make a big banner. I enjoy big banners. And then we're going to take it down to the Seattle Beat and hold it up out of that window for this whole city to see. That's brilliant. Everybody watches Seattle Beat. Uh huh. Well, say thank you. Why? I thought of it. Yeah, but I thought of watching TV. Let's just go make the banner. All right, let's banner it up. Okay, okay, I'm going. It's about to rain. I'm right behind you and it's already raining. Come on. Oh, pardon me. I'm really sorry. Step aside here. Yeah. We're from the internet. We just need to get through. <gasps> Hold it up high. See the world. Move it from the internet. Get ready, Seattle. <sighs> What you just heard, you can catch the band live at the show box next weekend. That sign is messed up. Aww, we're gonna have to touch Lubert's wart. <sighs> Okay, I got the ground wire attached. Now let's see if we got a hot circuit. No, 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 no. Why no? Seven times. Because you're a child and this is high voltage stuff and you're not even wearing safety goggles. So you've got to be extra careful whenever... <laughs> and that is why we wear safety goggles. That's what's what I smell a barbecue? No, that's my burning flesh. What's that? Soggy banner. I plan to get more viewers didn't go too well. Yeah, like how the Titanic floating didn't go too well. Oh come on, maybe a few people read our sign before the rain ruined all of our hard work and made us sad. Yeah. We could still win. Yeah, I don't think so. I think me and Spencer are going to win and you two are going to have to touch Albert's ward. I feel bad for you, Carly. Not for you. <laughs> so loser. You haven't won yet. What are you guys going to find to do? Oh, you'll see. Now if you excuse us, we have a contest to win. No offence, Carly. Come on, let's go dry off. Remember, I Carly goes live in three hours. We'll be ready to win. Still, no offense, Carly. I could let me get this puppy down to the lobby. Okay, now we can come back here and get ready to the show. I understand. What's that? It's my buddy with the truck. Right downstairs. Okay, we'll bring it down. Okay, be down in five. Now let's get the sign on the road. Hey, Freddy! Yo, Freddo! Mm. 
Help me! <sighs> On our last webcast, Sam and I told you to go to iCarly.com and click that feedback button. And man, you cl guys clicked on that sucker like it was your job. So first, we want to say thanks. Thanks! And second, we want to show you a video clip sent in by three iCarly viewers from Denver, Colorado. If Freddie play that clip, some people might say, please. Yeah, I didn't. Playback. Hey, Colleen, Sam, we love your guys' web show. Woo! Okay, okay, we've got an important question for you. Can you drink spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah, spaghetti and meatballs. Okay, we have no idea why that guy in the middle was wearing a bunny suit. But it did get our attention. And so the question, can you drink spaghetti and meatballs? We go and find out. Okay, we invited the little boy who lives two floors down to come up here and come here. So get out here, Emmett. Yeah. This is Emmett. He doesn't talk much. Isn't that right? See? Luckily, Emma will eat or drink anything. Seriously. One time Sam dropped a quarter, Emma ate it. I got it back three days later. Okay, Emma, we want to know, can you drink spaghetti and meatballs? So first we take the spaghetti and the meatballs. You got all of spherical meat. Put it in the blender. There we go. Ready? And we press frappe. You ready, kid? Go for it. And there you have it. You can drink spaghetti and meatballs. Now get out of here, Emma. You creep me out. Sure, you can have the rest. Okay, now we're going to do something we've never done before. Tell us what it is, Carly. Well, we thought it's the fun of a contest. Me and Carly against our technical producer, Freddy, who teamed up with my older brother, Spencer, to see which team could come up with the best idea to get more people to watch our Carly. Sadly, our plan didn't go too great. Check it out. And if you like what you just heard, then you can catch that barn at the show box next weekend to be sure. That sign is messed up. Aww. Okay, obviously that sign won't be getting us any more viewers. Our project failed. <sighs> but luckily, we weren't the only ones with the plan this week. So let's go to my brother Spencer, live on a remote camera, to tell us about his and Freddy's idea. Okay, go to Spencer Live. Hey Spencer, how's it going out there? What's up, Spence? Uh, Spencer? Uh, hello? Put the taco down! Can he hear us? Yeah, he should be able to. Oh, try now. Hey, Spencer! Oh! <laughs> ah. Hey, Carly, Sam. You guys owe me half a taco! Yes, yeah, so tell us what you're planning to do out there. Well, I'm currently standing by the interstate near the Lumford on Ramp in downtown Seattle. And as you can see, there are literally many cars. Wait, I'll show you. Literally many cars passing by every minute, which makes this the perfect place Hang a gigantic luminescent sign like this. Behold the sign! Whoa! Are you beholding it? Oh, we're beholding it. And since we have good sports, I'd say that sign does deserve it. Good job, Spencer. You too, Freddy. Thank you, Carly. In your face, Sam. 
Carly and Sam, you cannot understand how awesome the sign looks from out here. It's so dazzlingly bright. I swear it's like... What's going on out there, Spencer? Well, it seems that sign is so bright and dazzling, it distracted one of the drivers below. Actually, two of the drivers... Three of the drivers... Literally, many of the drivers below are being distracted by our extremely dazzling sign. Quick, turn it off! Turn it off! Okay, I will now turn off the sign. That's not off! Spencer, dude! Oh, man, I'm pressing the buttons. Literally all of them. Trying to turn off the sign. I'm going to overload the circuits! <laughs> P on Carl? Turn that off! I'm trying! It's the stupid cars! Don't look at the sign! Stop be holding the... Oh, I stepped on my taco! Oh wait, and read this one. <laughs> unbelievable insane i know can you believe this i said unbelievable i'm sorry i thought you said you were doofy and annoying all right well i'm all coming like that please try not to kill each other while i get the door he belonged to you uh yes sir he's my brother Thank you, officer. Do you have any lotion? No! Now I'm letting you off with the warning. But the next time you cause one of the worst traffic jams in Seattle in history, you will get arrested. Thanks, I think that sounds fair. What were you thinking? Putting up a sign telling people to pee on Carl? It was a terrible mistake, officer. Carl? Well, that was... As just so you know, I do have lotion. Mm, cucumber melon. <coughs> that was weird. Yeah, that was messed up. Anyway, I'm sorry I kind of ruined your webcast tonight. You didn't. Come here. You were just reading the comments boards. Listen to this one. The spaghetti in the blender made me LOL, but I swear, when your brother Spanner said pee on Carl, I almost peed myself. I read the other one. Oh, yeah. Kylie, I loved seeing you and Sam in Seattle Beach. Sorry about the wet banner, but that was hilarious. I'm going forward to that clip every kid in my school. Rock on, I, Kylie. See so how many comments like that? Tons. People are liking us. What, okay, so wait, wait, wait. We all failed miserably trying to get you guys more viewers for Icarly. And yet, it's precisely those miserable failures that are getting you more viewers for Icarly. Right, that's it. Insanity. Oh, hey, we almost forgot the best part, yeah? What? Since all of us pretty much lost the contest, none of us had to touch Lubert's watch. Oh, yeah. And then I say, let's go get us some low fat cheese, less vegetarian pizza. Woo! And some cucumber melon lotion, please. Mm -hmm.